Right, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So for anyone new to the channel, my name's Lloydie and we are currently working on my Mark VI Fiesta ST. There's quite a few previous videos, so if you fancy subscribing to the channel and be notified of any new ones, that'd be great. But you can also go back and look through the library of all the videos that I've done so far on the Fiesta. Today, however, I'm gonna jump straight into the video and what we'll be doing today is the brakes all round on the car and also some drop links on the front and the track rod ends as well. The reason I'm doing this is because obviously I bought the car second hand and I think it's had about 10 owners or something like that so I just really want to make sure that the brakes are good and that all the suspension parts are good also so when driving the car the steering wheel is pointing a little bit to the left when you're going forward and straight so what I want to do is look at the track rod end and see what sort of condition they're in at worst I can get new track rod ends and drop links put on the car and then we can take it to a garage and get the steering aligned anyway I want to get the car jacked up no fancy sort of footage doing that just get the car jacked up take you outside and then we'll get cracking right so these are the discs that I've currently got as you can see obviously they're quite rusty here and I've got paint marks so I painted the brake. They're not in terrible condition. Obviously they're drilled and grooved these ones. The ones I bought were just bog standard ones so I'm not really sort of too bothered. Uh, I've painted all of these up as well but obviously they're going to get really dirty. Just looking at the pads themselves, there's still quite a bit of meat left on them in there as you can see but I'd just like to get them changed up really. So I've changed brakes before on my Focus. I've not actually done it on the Fiesta but I don't think it's too hard. I think you just pull this pin out. There's a couple of bolts at the back here. I think it's a seven. So these should have dust caps on them but this one hasn't but the bottom one has. So that's a seven mil hex bolt in there. I don't know if you can just about see that and there should be another one there so that's the dust cap obviously I'm missing that one so you've got to take them off and then we'll have to undo these bolts here as well so these bits here are where the sliding pins are so I'm going to take these out and obviously re-crease them up so the pins are nice and freely moving in there and then we'll take these bolts off here and down here that one you can see right in the middle of the screen and then what that will do that will let the um, caliper come off and then we can get all the new pads in whip these discs off and then attempt the drop links so I want to change the drop links here the bolt in here and you got one here and then we're going to do the track rods as well so I don't think it's this side I think it's the other side but I mean they look old but and I suppose it is worth changing although that's going to be a bit of a bastard Right, so there's the sliding pins out, and as you can see, they're bone dry, so not the end of the world. They could do with a little bit of cleanup, so I'm going to get the wire brush to these, give these a clean up, and then we're going to re grease them before we put them in. But they weren't too sort of hard to get out, but yeah, they're looking a little bit sorry for themselves, so we give them a clean up, nice bit of grease on there, and then when we put them back, we at least we know that they'll be uh, up to the job. Well, hopefully. Right, hopefully this bit should be easy. Now I have painted this on, uh, but we should be able to just pull this, um, wiggle it out a bit, he says. When you paint calipers, do yourself a favour, don't paint this bit. Well, we paint it after you've changed it, I guess. So, that bit pings out there, and it should just come out the bottom, but again, because I've painted it, it's not uh, going to come out easy, I don't think. Da -da. Off. Yeah, don't paint them. Right, then what we do is we'll undo the bolts holding the caliper on now. So, obviously, I want to undo this bolt here to undo the caliper, and then there's another one just below it. Uh, it's a 13 mil. He says, yeah, 13 mil fits on there nicely. There's not much room to work with here, so you might need some extension bars. More than likely a breaker bar as well. But I'll get the breaker bar on it just to crack it. Right, so this is day two working on the car. I say day two, it's actually a week later because what I ended up doing was rounding off this bolt here and this bolt here for the uh, carrier. So basically I can't get the carrier off, which means I can't get the disc off, which means I couldn't do anything. So last week when I was actually filming the very first video, there's a few choice words and I left the car as it is because I don't have a nut removal uh, tool, so it's just rounded. What I've gone out and done is bought myself this kit. So it's an Irwin bolt grip and I'm gonna use the 13 mil one I think it is. Whack that on there and then that should hopefully bite into this rounded off uh, bolt here and bolt up here and then should pop out and then I've actually bought replacement bolts for it as well so I'm a little bit happier today but hopefully today I should be able to get the new disc and pads on now and do the drop link and the track rod end as well so I'm going to give this a go firstly you always want to moisten your nuts before you try and uh, pull your nuts out because moist nuts will always come out a bit better and also what you want to do is give them a little tap 
Um, what that does is loosen up any sort of crust that might be embedded in there. I mean, it may not even work, who knows? But ultimately, give them a little whack. I've covered them in WD-40, and hopefully this now will work. So you get your 13mm, give that a little tap. So it bites into it. Nice. Finally. I mean, the, the bolts, this thing's gone on a bit uh, screw with. Oh, what a relief. At least you know that works. One rounded bolt. It doesn't actually look that bad, so I don't know how well you can make that out, but it's not actually too bad. But it was just enough that basically I couldn't get the gun on it. I made the mistake of putting the snap-on gun on there, which in all fairness has worked before with me and brakes, but this time round it really didn't want to do it. So I'm going to get it on the top here again. Just give it a little tap, break a bar, and hope for the best. That is a satisfying noise. Not me, the uh, nut cracking. Yeah, I've, I've worked out last week that swearing at the bolts doesn't actually work and you will need some sort of uh, nut removal tool. So swearing definitely don't help, unfortunately. But yeah, if you ever get around enough bolts, I'm definitely gonna rate this kit. Wow, oh, there goes the carrier and there's the bolt. Beautiful, so I can take the disc off and then try and fix all the other little bits and pieces. Yay. Right, so I've gone for the padded on the front and all you need to do is, when you get them out, is give them a little spray with uh, brake cleaner. And then I wipe down on both sides just to get rid of all of any delivery grease that may be on there. So in comparison, obviously that's the new disc and that's the old disc just there. So these ones were drilled and grooved, as you can see, but they're proper rotten.com. So I just wanted rid of them, basically. Just weren't happy with it. So I've just got the new ones put on now. And then what I've done is I've actually cleaned up the carrier and I've had to get new bolts, so I hope these fit. So they're the new bolts that I've got. These are from Race Bolt on eBay. So I measured the size and got these ones. I put the size in the description as well if you ever need them, but hopefully you're not as stupid as me and round off the bolts. I think these ones were gunned on when they were put back together anyway. So I've now got the new bolts in by hand. So the original ones on the Fiesta are 13, but these ones that they've supplied me are actually a 12. So this should work. About to find out. Yeah, they seem alright to me. Make sure it all sits nicely. Yeah, it all seems fine there. Obviously, once the uh, things back together, that'll sit a bit neater. So what I'll do, I'm gonna take these back out again, and I'm gonna put some uh, blue thread locker on them just to keep them secure, and then we'll get these nipped up and done. Right, this is really awkward filming, but look, I'll put the blue thread locker on there. You can see that. So new bolts in, carrier in, and also what I've done is I've actually cleaned up all in these grooves here and at the top here as well, so obviously put the new pads in. I've also cable tied up here, as you can see, I've cable tied the uh, caliper up to here. Could do with painting again, because I've uh, absolutely ruined it. But I don't care, all I want to do is get the brakes done, because it's annoyed me. So basically all this does is it sits in between the caliper, and then you use this bit to wind out the uh, piston, or sorry, to wind in the piston. But it's such an awkward, fiddly bit, it just doesn't stick, that bit always falls off. Look, I've not changed brakes regular. I know what I'm doing, but this thing, yeah, I'm not really a fan of. So look, I'll try and show you how it works. So that's the, that's the uh, caliper, there's the piston. The piston obviously will be out sticking out a bit which won't be big enough to uh, allow it won't be, the room won't be big enough to allow the new pads to go into so all you do is you get this contraption and then you somehow work it out where this this bit here sits in the piston this plate kind of holds it in place and then you just have to keep winding this bit back so you can do it by hand for a bit and then obviously you'll need to get some grips like this to do this nut up here and then basically that pushes the piston back into the caliper so that gives you enough clearance in there for your pads. So putting in the pads is fairly simple. Uh, what I like to do though is put a little bit of copper grease at the end here and here so it just basically stops any squealing. And it's actually quite easy to put back together. So you get the caliper, obviously there's your piston. And then all you have to do is put the brake in the right way around. And then you've got these that kind of, these bits here and they clip into the piston. So there's one pad in and then you get your other pad into the grooves and then pop your caliber back on stay it out and paint it down the other week right so the carrier bolts are in and then all you need to do now is put your two sliding pins back in which i actually did the other day annoyingly so i actually cleaned these up and put some uh, red grease on them so you can see the grease is on there uh, i'll probably give them another little coating now but to be honest you can tell by the rubbers there that these are getting pretty crusty so i'll probably look at getting some new rubbers for this but for the minute it's getting dark and i just want to get this done right well this is day three because the other night when i was filming it's like getting too dark 
uh, to work on the car and I got bored so I came back in. So today I'm going to be doing the drop links here and I'm going to attempt to do these track rods or tie rods. I'm going to attempt to do these as well. So it shouldn't be too hard. I think this is going to be a bit of a bit of an ass, but we'll see. So on here I've got two 17mm nuts. I need to do that one down there that you can see where my thumb is. And there's a 17mm just there as well I need to do. So that shouldn't be too high. So I'll get them cracked off now. Hopefully they don't round off like the uh, brakes did, which are looking pretty decent at the minute. But I just want to get this side done, get the rears done, and then uh, get this all finished. Right, so I've got the drop link off. I didn't bother filming because it's just two 17mm bolts at the end of this. But as you can see, look, I can move that pretty easy. If I turn it around to the other side, this one was actually rotten. But again, I can just move that freely round that drop link. And that shouldn't be the case. There should be like these ones. And with this one, I can't move that at all. That's too hard to move. Same as the other side. They're both rock solid. Yeah, so they're 17 mil bolts. Sorry about the focus. And these are actually, these are from Euro Car Parts and these are Starline, if anyone wants to know. I don't know how good they are. Soon find out, but they're going to be much better than the crusty ones that are on there now. So I'll get these ones changed and then we're going to crack on with these bits here. Right, so for the track oil end, what you need is a 15 mil to undo this one here. And then it says a 19, but my 19 don't fit. Only what fits is my 23, just about. Let's try the 21. And I haven't got a 22. Yes, look, that's, that's a 21 and that's not going to fit. So I've either got some dodgy uh, bolts on there or Google lied. But that will uh, that should undo that. But we'll get the, we'll get the 15 done, undone even. Right, see, so I think this one's muddered and all. So you get that feeling when you just wish you don't bother on cars. So it turns out it's got a 5mm Torx at the top here, 15mm here, and do it this way. I watched a bloody YouTube video for this and all. Now obviously I'm going to have to go and get this uh, steering done afterwards. This is awful. Christ almighty. Right, that's that bit out, and that's buggered as well. Which is good. I don't know honestly what to say there because that was just driving me out of the wall. Ended up having to use more grips. I had to use these to clamp onto the bolt, onto the nut, whatever you want to call it. Because it wasn't shifting and I haven't got a 20mm spanner. I've got 19, I've got 21, I've got 23. I tried swearing at it but that didn't work. Hopefully I can get this side done now. You meant to count how many turns but as you see that's best started moving already. So I'm just going to guess now. I'm going to guess that's one there. So that's where it started, one, 17 and a bit, kind of came off there didn't it? So I'm going to grab the new one, I'll show you this one as well though, but again this is really sort of moving and look at that, all completely busted, you can see all the grease etc all dirt in there, and there's the new one, you get a protective cap with it which I've taken off, and then all you do is the reversal, so I'm just going to do 17 turns back on, you can't see, 16, 17, there and then basically I'll tighten up this bolt again, but obviously I'm going to get it tracked, uh, get the tracking done. Put that there, find the new bolt, which is here. See, it was a 15, that's a 17. Poxy cars. Right, so that's that one done up. And then I've just basically got to do this one up. I used the 23 for a bit because that did actually work. And then obviously I'll have to get the trekking done. Right, so I'm going to call it a night once again because it's getting pitch black and I keep leaving it to the last minute, but work just been manic at the minute, so I don't have time to work on the car. So at least we've got the uh, drop link done up here, which is good. And we've got the uh, track rod end done there as well, which is obviously good. I want to do the other side tomorrow off camera, uh, but what I will do tomorrow is the rear brakes as well because they really need doing. So I'll get them done tomorrow and we'll get some more filming done. Right, so I just finished up on the passenger side. You can see they've got the new track rod there, and then I've just put in a new drop link, which you can see right there. Right, and this is the mess that came off of the car. So I did say in one of my previous videos that the car was steering to the left. So I just think that this track rod is obviously seen better days. So I'm glad I've changed that out. What I'll have to do now is obviously take the car and go and get it tracked, and then hopefully we'll have a level steering wheel and not as many knocking noises, which is what I complained about before. Oh, and also, this is the state of the drop link. So the actual uh, gubbins came out of there. I don't think it was broken on the car, 
it's just my brute force and ignorance getting it out. Right, so seeing as we're running out of light once again, what I'm going to do is to show you how to do the rear one. So all you want to do is take the wheel off, and then basically you've got these 13. You've got one here and one here, which are for your sliding pins. And then down here you've got 13 mil again on the carrier bolt, one down there, well, sorry, one up here and then one literally directly below it, which you probably can't see, but you'll find it it's literally below that one. So what you want to do first is take out the sliding pin. So I'll do that. I have actually done the other side on this car, haven't they? sliding pins, sorry about the wind, but the sliding pins on the other side were horrific. So I think they're going to be exactly the same on this side. Basically they get stuck. I'll, try, I'll show you that in here. So instead of using blue Loctite as well, whoever's done these back up has used red, which is obviously a great idea. I think it doesn't matter too much, but not ideal on the sliding pins. But you need a little extension one for the top carrier bolt. I think they've been gunned on them ones. Why do people do it, eh? No doubt this will be the same. Sorted. Well, I'll leave them on whilst I get the brakes off. So you can see there, look, the only contact I'm getting on the disc is here. It should really be up to about there, because if you look at the pads when they're in, they do sort of go up quite high. Um, so yeah, that's probably all right there, that lip. No, but yeah, I think it shook up a bit higher. And like I say, these sliding pins up here, these are really sort of, well, that one's all right, uh, but the other one's really sort of seized in there. So I'm just gonna take these out, grease them up again, and then get these uh, as good as new, as well, as good as new as I can. Right, it's that bloody dark that the sensor lights come on now, which is great. So I'm cleaning up the slider pins on the rear. Again, one of them was seized up, so nice and dirty. Cleaned out all the inside of the uh, carrier. Cleaned out all the rubbers as best I could. Cleaned up these, and then I'll give them a bit of uh, red grease to go on there. I've had nothing but problems with this car. Basically, the old disc was stuck on, so I had to give it a few uh, light taps with a persuading tool. Attitude adjuster. Right, so what I've done is I've cleaned out the carrier. I've cleaned out the grooves as well, down here and down here. These bits, clean these out to get all the crust out of it. Cleaned inside there where the sliding pins go, there and there. And then these are where the um, carrier bolts go into, so I'm going to put them in now. You have also had to wind the piston in as well, because the piston obviously is, being, is pushed out as you're braking, and obviously as the pads get smaller, the piston gets further and further in, so I basically have to wind that all the way back out. So now I'm going to put the carrier back on. The bolts have still got the blue locked on there as well, so I'm not going to bother uh, staying that. This is where you hope you've wound the piston back in as well. Because the other little bit you've got to do is on the piston you'll see four little grooves. Yeah, so when you get new pads, these are the old ones. You can see here that you get this little notch and that notch has to line up with on the piston. There's a, there's like a little cross hatch um, and then you basically line that up with it. You can see that as well. They're not in bad condition. They're quite meaty, quite a bit of meat left on them, but they just wore down really badly. So in the bin they go. I can't remember what the new ones are. I've got, I think the new ones have got all padded. Whatever the cheapest was on Euro car park, basically. I think I spent £95 in all. So discs and pads all around for 95 quid. They're doing the old uh, Euro car parts sale bonanza that they seem to have every week. Right, that's that one tight. Oh no, sorry, I've got Ica pads. They're the new ones, Ica, or Ica, I can't pronounce it. Whatever they are, they were cheap. I was looking on eBay and I think it was Mintex maybe or EBC and they wanted just for the front groove and drilled pads and disc £150 just for that so the rears were probably I don't know got to be what 70 quid or £95 all round hmm yeah I'll go with that one thanks obviously just make sure your disc spins freely in the carrier so you know you've got it on right I'll have to clean this up again as well because it's bit, got a bit dirty but yeah that spins alright now you have to make sure these springs going the right way goes in here I see these will be a little bit tight to go in because they're new it shouldn't be too bad you probably can't see what I'm doing but all I'm doing is just lining the pads up I'll show you on the other side on this other side if I can this is where you find out you haven't wound the piston back in far enough which is what happened the first time around so yeah basically you get like little notches here and here and then the new discs sorry the new pads sorry should just line up 
give it a little bit of persuasion. That's it. And obviously just check now, again that's spinning freely. Make sure they're in and now it's getting that bit of the piston which I'll try and show you. Groove, so those little grooves that are there, that should line up with the notch on the other side there. A bit of uh, persuading sometimes, but you basically wind that in as far as it goes, then you can turn it to the area it needs to be. And I think that's about right, that should sort of fall just in place, but we'll see. What a pain this has been. Right, so I finally got the uh, caliper, wound, the piston, sorry, wound back in. So I'm just trying to put the, uh, should have done this as I put the carrier on, but whatever. Just putting the rubber seals back in for the sliding pins. So this piston on this side, I thought might have been easier, so I thought I'd film this side. Um, no, it turns out it's just as bad as the other side, so that's great. And obviously I painted all these brakes, and as you can see, they're getting right filthy again so I think I'm gonna have to paint them or just give them a clean up and hope for the best uh, I'm not doing that tonight because it's now 10 past 10 I've been out here for an hour and a half trying to do this oh I do love cars got all my rubber grease has burst everywhere as well as you can see that's good uh, but all I'm gonna do is put on the sliding pins now so just take a little bit you don't need to sort of too much so yeah just cut, coat this in a little bit not too much otherwise it just goes everywhere that goes back in there so obviously you can see now oi oi that one slides and then do this side i'm gonna need some new rubbers to be honest because these ones are a bit cack but for now it's going back in because i don't care right, that one doesn't slide as well just sort of spin it get all the get all the uh, grease in there that should be a lot better it's not as doesn't move as freely as the other one does i reckon Fine. Looks weird on camera. Right, so once you've done that, now you can put your caliper back, push the sliding pins in to allow it to get on. Then once you've done them up, you go indoors because you can't bother to film an outro and you do the outro the following day. Next time you see me, I'll be a lot happier because all the brakes and everything, all the like, suspension components have all been fixed the car's a lot better and then i'll be able to tell you that i've been to the tire garage and got the everything tracked and that they'll say they've never seen a car with track rods fitted like it in their life obviously so yeah i'm going to finish this off here now do this up go indoors cry a little because uh this has really pissed me off and also it's just started raining as well so let's just throw that one in there as well so anyway i'll do an outro tomorrow but for now I'll leave you watching me uh, tighten up my nuts. <laughs>